I first want to apologize if the uh, uh, quality of this recording is pretty bad. The shelf is pretty high up. I'm having to stand on a shelf. There's my dog looking at me with great concern. But I wanted to show off um, the duck shelf in, in all of its glory. I wanted to go through it all. Um, I don't really have enough height to, to see what's going on, so I'm looking through the camera lens, but I kind of wanted to walk through everything that's going on with the duck shelf. So yeah, let's get into it. First one here, this is a donation duck. So like has a, a coin dispensary there. This is supposed to be like donating to like lifesavers and stuff, but I kind of just have one. Um, one of my sister's friends had this duck and was like, hey, I know you have a rubber duck collection. Do you want it? So I just said, yes, please. I'm very <laughs> glad I have this because every time I go into like a supermarket or something, they always have something similar to this. And I've always been like, can I buy one of those? But luckily uh, someone else did it for me. So now I have a donation duck. Let's try and put that back up here. You've got these. I have two of these. There's another one there with a watermelon helmet. These are like um, ducks that is supposed to be like lights that you put on like bike bikes and stuff. So um, I'm not really sure how they work. I do know that they can light up, uh, but I've never really figured it out. I just like the fact that they have little helmets. Um, so yeah, there's nothing really else to say. I got them for Christmas. Um, all right. Next up we have tarantula duck. I'm not gonna pick all of these up, but tarantula duck, uh, this guy, uh, there's nothing really to say about him. I got him at a museum. Um, he just looks very cool. I just like the look of him. <laughs> um, looks a bit scary, but you know, it's a bit scary that I have this big of a rubber duck collection. Uh, we've just got some normal ducks in the back. There's actually a bunch of just little small ducks that I'm not gonna mention. Um, I will say all of these small ones, one of my friends bought me like a pack of 20 that I gave out. Um, and some of those big ones I've just gotten from like supermarkets and stuff when I've gone past. Over here, uh, Mermaid got that from a, like, boat dock, like a jetty. Um, I actually have two of those because someone gave one to me when they went and I haven't had the guts to build them that I have two. Um, these surf life-saving stuff, my mum got these for me from, like, a stand. Uh, I did not go, but I have, like, a golden one there and a purple one there. And I think there's a, another one somewhere down there, but, you know... Oh God, it's actually hard to stand on this. All right, now I'll keep moving along. We have, I'm actually, I'm gonna mention these first. This is what I like to call the mama duck because like it's pretty big, but it also has like room for all these tiny ducks that came with it. Um, this is from like a clothes store. They just had one and I was like, yo, I'm gonna take that. So now I have that. Um, down here, this, this is not really rubber duck. This is kind of just like, a, I don't know, the texture of this is weird, it's like almost like, I, I don't want to say rubber, but it's like an eraser type thing, so it's like kind of rubber, but like more firm, more sturdy, doesn't really squish down, so I just kind of have that there, chilling. Uh, this, one of my friends from school knew that I had a rubber duck collection, and they went, hello, uh, $20 please, so I don't want to admit that I paid $20 for this, one of my friends went to Europe after school finished and they got me a lot of rubber ducks. This is one of them. This is just a duck in a car by the looks of it. I love this. Um, I like my unique rubber ducks and this is definitely one of the more unique ones that I have. Um, but I feel bad because they got me so many ducks from the rubber duck store. I have the bag up here. Um, I've always wanted to go to this, but I haven't been. So I'm just glad they went and got stuff for me. All right, Crash Bandicoot Duck and Spyro the Dragon Duck. They're very cool. Um, game stores kind of had like this promotion with rubber ducks. I'm not too sure why, but I have them. Also, let me just, there you go, quality is probably better now. <laughs> this, I actually don't know where I got this from. I know my sister gave it to me but I don't know what the context was behind her getting it. Um, it is just royalty, very nice small rubber duck. I just like that it's a bit unique. So yeah, I have that. Superman duck and over here, where is it here? Batman duck. 
uh, these just came together. I just went, you know what, Superman, Batman, sure, let's go. Bet both their names are Martha. Anyway. <laughs> All right, here, Rubik's Cube duck. This is at the same museum that I got uh, the tarantula at, and I believe there is an octopus as well that I got from there. Um, but one of my friends from Sydney uh, came over here and they went, hey, uh, let's meet up. So we did, and I showed them around uh, WA, which really the, the most interesting thing we went to was the museum, um, because there's not a lot here. But they are very good at solving Rubik's cubes. It's like a, a lot of what they do. And so when we saw this rubber duck, we were like, this is the perfect time to get this. So this means a lot to me that I have this because like, it's just very thematic and very cool. So yeah, Rubik's Cube rubber duck. All right, moving on. Down here, we've got some smaller, uh, are these ceramic? They are ceramic. Smaller ducks, uh, one of my friends had these and they just gave them to me. So yeah, there's not much else to say about that. Um, over here, yeah, here's the octopus rubber duck. Similar to the tarantula, um, same same place, same museum. This museum has a lot of rubber ducks for some reason, so yeah. Flamingo, this was like a dollar. Uh, you can say it's not a rubber duck. I would argue otherwise. It's got like a zipper on it. <laughs> it's rubber, it's a bird, it counts. Just got some like other greens. Uh, this is, uh, this is very cool. So um, up north, there was this place that had like jade rubber duck. You can again, you can say it's not rubber. It's a duck. <laughs> it's made out of jade. It's very cool. So I just have that chilling up here. I'm gonna move the stool over now because this shelf is massive. So, <laughs> all right, moving down the line. Yeah, we've got the pop figure of like the duck from Toy Story. So, yeah, I, I have that. <laughs> oh god, this is a tall shelf. Uh, another normal rubber duck. Here is a wooden rubber duck. So this, um, I believe I got from a website that like, I believe I got from like a, a website, Facebook page that like gives away stuff for free. And we just saw uh, there was a wooden rubber duck thing. So have that chilling at the back. Okay, <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah, this is like, uh, I, I guess you could say like, I don't know what you'd call this, just like a tag. <laughs> it's cool, it's there. All right, Narwhal Rubber Duck, I don't even remember this guy. Genuinely, I feel bad, but I, I think my sister might have given this to me. I have no clue where this is from, and I feel kind of bad about it, but it's very cool. I do like it. All right, moving on, we have, God, I'm trying to put the Narwhal back. We have this, the Mer Lion. The Mer Lion from Sydney. Ah, uh, I've not seen these, Singapore. I went to Singapore and I tried very hard to find a rubber duck of sorts um, and I could not find one for the longest time. Last day in Singapore, we saw this and I was like, this is the perfect thing to get. The merlion is like an icon of Singapore and to have it on a rubber duck like this, very lucky I found this, very happy I have this. All right, we've now got two sharks. These are two different things. This one I believe is from Melbourne when one of my friends went to Melbourne. And this is just one from here. <laughs> uh, nice little sharks. All right, if we go down here, tiny, tiny rubber ducks. And they're, again, they're not rubber, but they're tiny. So I put them next to the biggest rubber duck I have. This thing, I don't think I can like describe how big this is, um, but yeah, it is huge. Got that from like the free side as well. Um, and it barely fits on the shelf, so I'm very lucky it does. Moving on, that's the other uh, seatbelt guy. We have this like sock puppet duck thing. So I was just like, yeah, all right. <laughs> Mine now, thank you. This is the other mermaid duck that I have. All right, I'm gonna move the shelf over one more time, hopefully. Oh, okay. Um, moving on, happy birthday. This is also from the Rome Rubber Duck store. Um, my friend missed my birthday, so they got me a birthday duck. So yeah, that's very cool. Pyre Rubber Duck, I believe my sister got me this. Uh, again, it's a very small rubber duck, but it is a, a pirate. Looks very nice, looks very snazzy. Very happy I have it. All right, here, Lego. One of my friends for my birthday got me this. It's just a Lego duck, and I proudly display it. Thank you very much for that. 
this at the back here is from a Christmas present. It is like, I've never unboxed it, but I believe he put the rubber duck like on the phone charger. So it looks like the duck's eating the phone. Awesome. <laughs> here are two more things that my friend got from the Rome rubber duck store. Little sheep rubber duck. Very awesome, very nice. And over here is a duck with the Colosseum. So this is awesome. I'm very happy that I have these because it's not often you get the chance to go to the Rome Rubber Duck store, but they did. Yeah, this just has a duck on it. That's why I have it up here. Um, again, for free from that website. Um, it's supposed to be like keys and coins and stuff in there, but I just have it. This is a glow in the dark Rubber Duck. So obviously it's light out right now. I can't really show you, but if you turned the lights off, this thing would glow. It's very cool, um, and I have it at the front because when I turn my lights off to go to bed, this thing just glows in the dark. This is very special to me, this guy. This is the one that started it all. Um, this was the first rubber duck I got. Um, we went to a, like, museum, different museum to the other one, um, that had, like, an exhibition on for, um, I, I, I believe it was Rome, to be honest, I don't really know. But uh, at the gift shop, they had this guy, and when I saw it, I went, this is the first, like, unique rubber duck I've seen. I feel like I could start a collection here. And obviously I have, and now I, I own this. So this is very, very cool. Very, very, very glad that I have this. Um, and yeah, it inspired me to start the whole thing, and now I have a shelf full. Um, that is called an addiction. Let's put you back up there. Here, this guy, my sister was cleaning her room and I found it and just asked if I could have it. I don't want to touch him because he's very like fragile, but he just kind of sits there. You can like move his legs around and stuff. And I'm not going to pick this guy up because he's leaning on it, but this is like a Zeus duck that I believe I got for my birthday. Um, I put him next to the Spartan. The duck CD game. This is next to this, which is, I got, oh. oh. <laughs> This is what I mean. Other guy fell. This is, um, I got this from Singapore as well. This is before I got the other thing, because I was like, this is probably the best I'm going to find. I found something better, but now I just own this as well. And the Duck CD game. My friend, I can't, they gave me like some kind of a challenge that I completed, and so they just gave me this. Duck City CD game. Pretty sure it's a virus, but now it's on the shelf. There you go. That is the Rubber Duck Shelf. There's a bunch of other smaller rubber ducks just chilling, but they're a bit generic, so I didn't want to go into detail about them. But that is pretty much everything on this shelf. I have far too many of these things, but we're not done there. This is a duck bill face mask. You put this on, looks like you've got a duck bill. Uh, duck memorabilia, I kind of have quite a few things. So yeah, this is very nice to have. Very, I, I don't use it because it's kind of gross, but I'm glad I have it. Duck face mask. In my wardrobe of clothes, I have this onesie, this duck onesie that I got for Christmas about a year ago, uh, maybe two years ago. I've never had the opportunity to wear it. I don't know when I would wear it, um, but I have a duck onesie. Uh, maybe I can wear that to like, I don't know, a movie or something one day. But yeah, I have that. I do have a couple pair of duck themed socks. I don't know where my other pair is. I've got like a, a pair of like purple socks. Um, I don't know where they are, but yeah, uh, duck socks. There's not much else to say. There's, there's socks with ducks. I also have some duck themed pajamas. These are long sleeve like pajama pants. I'm not wearing them right now, but I probably should be. And last but certainly not least, So, if you've watched this far and uh, have any rubber ducks, I'm coming for you. <laughs>